Okay, in the previous video, we looked at uh, delta and uh, how the Black Scholes para parabola could be used to understand the delta as a slope. Uh, the next um, Greek we'll look at in sequence here is gamma. Gamma is the measure, so gamma measures the rate of change in the delta with respect to changes in the underlying price. Gamma is the second derivative of the value with respect to the underlying price. All long options have positive gamma, all short options have negative gamma. So really what gamma represents, it's the delta differentiated again with respect to uh, the stock price or it's the option the second derivative of the option d2c over delta d s squared it's the second it's the second uh, derivative of the call with respect to the value of the stock okay so maybe to look at that go back to just refresh this page and we'll go in and we'll go back to delta 2 to get the file. And again, uh, it's generally not visible, but um, because uh, Excel Online doesn't allow us to use uh, VBA. So, um, <clears throat> so we'll open the file. We'll enable editing enable content and let's just check that again escape let's go back so these are fine and um, one possibility is just rerun so delete and rerun data. So we'll rerun the data table. And we're saying that this column here is given by the reference to the asset price. When we hit OK, it should fill up. So everything else is live here in the spreadsheet. And as before, um, when we looked at delta, okay, this is what we had uh, called and the delta. But, but what about Vega? Okay, so um, we could run this one more time. We could say uh, gamma, and we could put a cell reference here for the original gamma and then rerun let's take out this data table for a moment just remove temporarily and run those three uh, the reference for call for the delta and for the gamma together and then just make the comparison okay so we'll go data table what if analysis data it's a column and the reference is back to 100 and it fills up and what I'd like to do in, in addition here okay so we're going to say change this to delta gamma and we'll pull this across and we'll pull this across and we'll just Pull this across as well and it gets gamma so this figure is the same as this figure and I pull it down and I put in gamma okay and now I'm going to graph all three series together so let's go insert scatter and all three together now we have the call let's take that one out that's just a Black-Scholes parameter. I have the 
uh, uh, delta. Let's remove delta. And then I'm left with gamma. And each time it's rescaling. But what I'd like to do in this instance, if we recall that delta represented the slope of the call, we might be able to see. So let's just resize this so that it's. Okay, we might be able to make that just a little bit. Bring it like that. About the same size and same. Squeeze it just a tiny bit. Okay. And let's just put this here. Okay, so the range pretty much in line. Right to 50. Maybe I'll pull it out a little bit further. But what I'd like to show is that if we go back to Wikipedia, Greeks, that the gamma represents, the interpretation of gamma is that it's the second derivative. So in other words, it's the slope of the delta. Gamma is the slope of delta. So if we go back to our spreadsheet here, can we verify that this gamma here is equivalent to the slope of this? Okay, so if we take the slope here, it's zero. Zero. When we take the slope here, it's zero. It tends to increase at an increasing rate, so it's going up. It tends to max somewhere south of 100, which is, if you think about the uh, difference that's occurring here, the, the delta here is is increasing at an increasing rate and then increasing at a decreasing rate all the while going up so just below the 100 here we seem to have increasing at an in at a decreasing rate we're increasing at an increasing rate and then somewhere just before 100 we're increasing at a decreasing rate and that corresponds to what's happening here the increasing at an increasing rate and then delta is still increasing, but is increasing more slowly. Okay, so, okay, that's gamma. Uh, now, in addition to, that's our interpretation of gamma. Maybe we'll just stop it here.